I finally got the crash cage, stunt cage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these are Kevtech. Both of these. This is a Kevtech sub cage and a Kevtech uh, crash cage. <clears throat> like I said, or stunt cage, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the colors. Uh, on the website, the colors were a bit different. Like this was supposed to be like metallic purplish, like a little darker purple. purple. And this red, in person, looks a lot more cheesy than in my look on camera. So, overall, like, it's cool, I guess. But I think I'm going to sand them down and um, power coat them a different color or something. Because I really don't fuck with the colors. <clears throat> so, it's not terrible. Like, it's... It's definitely like doable for right now, but I'm just really not happy with the colors. Um, these Kevtex I ordered from the Six Shop, and I didn't get it for like two and a half months. And on the website, it says two to three weeks. Um, I had to talk to a lot of different people constantly to make sure that I got them because there was actually quite a bit of reviews of people saying that they never got them or that it took eight months or whatever. And I didn't know that before I ordered them. Um, but yeah, so I guess I should be lucky that it was two and a half months, even though it says uh, two to three weeks on these. Uh, customer service was ass through the six shop. Uh, I would not recommend buying them through them. Maybe go directly to Kevtech. Because I know Kevtech has a website and you can just order through them. But if you go to the Six Shop, then they have these up for sale as if, you know, it's through them, but it's not. And um, it just made the whole process a lot harder. But I like these, this crash cage, because the, the pressure point isn't in the engine. A lot of these crash cages will be like, this rubber piece right here will be right here. If that hits, that's a direct. This is what's connected to the engine. So these contact points are not directly connected to the engine. So I, that's what I like about this cage in particular from Kevtech. And this sub cage is is dope. Uh, the metal, then it, then the rubber piece, obviously, and it all connects through that. Um, <clears throat> so overall. You know, other than like the shitty customer service, it taking almost three times longer than they promised for, you know, for me to get them. Like the product itself is, you know, it's cool, whatever, except for the paint. If there's like an option to get all black or something, I just do that. Uh, so on camera, it might not look like it, but these colors like this blue and this red look so cheesy in person. Like you look at it and it just looks super cheesy. So, other than that, I mean, they're crash cages, a sub cage, uh, so they'll get the job done. I guess I might be being a little too hard on the company, but, like, at the same time, don't say, you know, two to three weeks, then take so long. Take, like I said, almost three times the amount, like, the amount of time. It's just absolutely fucked. Especially when something is so expensive, like, like these cages were like seven hundred dollars. So when you have a promise on a delivery time for something that someone spent so much money on, and that's you know the delivery time that they expect to get it, then that's just fucked if. It takes so much more longer than that, you know? Like, people are spending, like, someone spends so much money on your product, and they're excited to get it, and you say it will be there max three weeks, then it needs to get there max three weeks. Uh, but the fact that it took uh, 10 weeks to get to me is just ridiculous. <clears throat> but they, they, they're dope, I mean, Whatever, I can put my feet up on them when I ride, so that's fun. 
these jeans that I'm wearing are like super tight when I put my leg down and people, people are probably making fun of me a skinny jeaned uh, street biker whatever though bro Ooh, she sounds pretty today boys she sounds pretty today <clears throat> they look fine whatever they're doable if the bike goes down it's gonna be protected and that's what I care about but I missed a lot of meetups because I was waiting for these cages I don't want to go on a big group ride without the cages on just in case if some idiot like you know because you're riding with a lot of people you don't know their riding styles people are trying to show off and if I get sideswiped by someone doing a wheelie and can't control it I need to make sure my bike is protected because I don't know if people, you know, trade insurances and that type of ride when everyone's doing dumb shit. I mean, they probably, maybe, they probably do, but eh, I don't know. But yeah, I miss a lot of group rides uh, waiting for these fucking cages. And I'm excited to finally be able to <clears throat> go on the Tiny Tuesdays. Even though this bike isn't tiny, I still want to go, dude. Still go riding. I want to fucking go and I've definitely got got a lot more looks from cars with the cages on which that's not a reason why I wanted to do it I was just surprised you know as a motorcyclist if you have a street bike whatever you you get looked at a lot regardless but uh I've definitely noticed an uptake in uh people staring at me with these cages they're probably waiting for me to do some wheelies or some shit <laughs> But I would say do not buy from the six shop. My personal opinion, some people might have some good experiences with them, but I did not. The only customer service people that would talk to me is the company Kevtech. And they're the people who made the fucking shit. Uh, other than that, the six shop wouldn't give me any updates or anything. And they didn't even tell me to go to Kevtech. I had to look up online where these were being made and find Kevtech's website, then call them, then figure out how to get updates. <clears throat> Other than that, the Six Shop only replied to two of my emails, uh, very short answers. Then I emailed them like four more times and I didn't get anything back. So fuck them and don't buy from them. 